Sometimes I wake up in the mood to do stupid things, and this is one of those days. So we are in a P-47 Thunderbolt, and we are taking on the A-10C Thunderbolt 2. Uh, not Warthog. Warthog is technically the uh, nickname for the A-10. Uh, its official name is the Thunderbolt 2. So we have old versus new, and it should be interesting as he rips by and <laughs> shoots his gun as he goes by. <laughs> I think that was a little bit of an invitation or a warning, you know? Like, you want some of this? As he rips by with 30 mil. Uh, I do have 850 caliber machine guns, which I'm going to try to put on target right there. And I'm actually inside of his turn circle. This is as expected with World War II aircraft fighting jet engines. Now the A-10 obviously doesn't have an afterburner, so... Okay, clipped his wing there. Now I'd say this A-10 is in trouble at this point. <laughs> Feeling pretty good right now. It hits. And a little bit more. There we go. That's what I like to see. Now, obviously, the A-10 is famous for taking massive amounts of punishment, but this A-10 looks like he's busted pretty good. Or maybe not. I think he just recovered. The pilot should be pretty safe. Like, I don't think I can do anything to the pilot. Um, I'll have to kill his aircraft with a thousand cuts, essentially, <laughs> the P-47. Um, but I think if he hits me, if he gets one burst on me, I should just disintegrate, technically. <laughs> a couple more hits there. He's leaking everything at this point. <laughs> And uh, this is almost cruel to do to somebody. To just do like strafing passes of 50 cal on them. And they just have to take it. But there's not a whole lot he can do here. He kind of messed it up at the beginning of the fight. And uh, must suffer the consequences of 50 cal. There we go. Ooh, almost crashed on top of me there. Ripped his wing off. Uh, splash 1A10. All right, let's switch planes. Let's get in the uh, A10. So normally in fights like this, when you get uh, a World War II aircraft and you put it up against the jet engine, because it's slower, it turns inside the circles. What you got to do is use the vertical. Um, the A-10 is obviously not, you know, an F-15 in that sense. So using the vertical will be difficult, but you can still do it because at the end of the day, I still have better engines than a World War II P-47. So I should be able to get myself a lot of vertical he shouldn't be able to climb with me as he's trying to do here and once he stalls out i'm gonna roll over and kill him as he just did there's the stall and he's still committed to climbing up here so that's fine i'll just go ahead and put him inside this funnel he gonna learn today Oh! Correct me if I'm wrong, but I should have absolutely melted him right there. Like, what is that? 30 mil, you know, high explosive armor piercing. Absolute incendiary everything. Like, how is he still alive? 
<laughs> and I'm pretty sure I hit like right underneath the cockpit. So I definitely should have. If the plane's not dead, the pilot should be a red mist at this point. Um, however, he is still fighting me and they're just leaking a little bit of fuel, it looks like. So it uh, might be a little bit of a damage model problem. And in the developer's defense, oh, oh, almost had him. In their defense, they probably didn't expect the P-47 to be taking 30 mil rounds. So I'm not sure if that's modeled correctly. They didn't expect some idiot to take it up against an A-10 at some point. <laughs> So, yeah, we're kind of pushing the bounds of uh, decent and sane behavior at this point. And once again, you see coming into the fight with an energy advantage, we did a high to low merge and then went straight into the vertical. After that, P-47 stole himself out, um, made the mistake of trying to climb, committed to the vertical, got himself stuck inside the funnel and uh, got hit by at least four rounds of 30 mil for his trouble there. And he does look like he's in trouble here, just trying to keep the plane in the air. Nice. Multiple hits there. Oh, he's cooking. Yeah, a little bit of a fire. I'm surprised that that thing is still intact. It still, you know, has the shape of an aircraft. <laughs> after being absolutely smoked by 30 mil. But uh, he did finally catch on fire and he goes down. The Thunderbolt series were always uh, known to take a lot of damage. I bet the World War II Germans wish they had an A-10. Okay, so we are back in the P-47 Thunderbolt. Uh, we're going to do a low to high. But I'm not... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually not going to go into the vertical with it. Because I just can't with the A-10. If he enters with any kind of energy advantage, he'll do to me what I just did to him in the last round. So I'm going to go for a one circle turn and hope that I can entice him into following me into it. And if he does, he'll die. And into the merge here. And we're taking him one circle. He's using a bit of the vertical. So am I. And he's pulling pretty hard to get nose on here. So he got enticed into this. Let's take a shot. Almost hit him. Not really sure why he was shooting there. Not really sure what the intention was. And look at this. I'm now inside of his turn circle. Essentially. Also just because he dumped his nose and opened up all of the angles. Come on. There we go. Hmm. To roll over top of him. He does seem slow. You know you messed it up when the P-47 has an energy advantage over you. Come on, come on, come on. Oop. Might have hit him there. Come on. Oh, over. Put those rounds over him. Right here. Nope. But I'm in a good position here. Now we'll just line him up and I should be able to finish him off here. Nope. <laughs> Couple of hits there, using a bit of the rudder as he tries to jink. This is really the fun part. And you know, it is a testament to the A-10 that is taking this much 50 cal. The 50 cal is not a joke round, you know? It's no 20, 30 mil, but it, it still can do a lot of damage to an aircraft. And the A-10 is just eating it up. Oh boy, I just crossed his nose. Thank God he didn't have a good reaction time. 
That was a huge mistake on my part. Shooting again. And one circling with a P-47 is not a good idea. <laughs> thing is still flying. More hits. I might run out of ammo before this guy goes down. <laughs> this, the A-10 just takes so much damage, man. Oh my god. Careful to not hit the ground. Oh my god. Oh, he hit me! <laughs> oh, he went for like a last ditch. And he clipped me on the wing, I think. Those of you still watching this fight at this point should take a long, hard look at yourselves because uh, you might have thought I was insane when I first started this video for doing this fight, but you're still watching. So what does that say about you? <laughs> it is an interesting fight, sort of, right? You kind of want to see what 850 cals will do to an A-10 and you kind of want to see what the 30 mil on an A-10 will do to a P-47. Although I am kind of disappointed by what the... Uh, a-10's cannon, or gun, has done to the P-47. Those desperation rounds I just saw. Now we'll go one circle with them. Uh, you can see the A-10 does not like this. Yes, please cross my nose. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, what a huge mistake. Why would you do that? I think he departed flight in the one circle, pulled a little too hard, fell, and just happened to fall right into my funnel. <laughs> Which is so unfortunate, you know? Of all the places you could have fallen, right into my funnel is the single worst place. <laughs> And he looks like he's pretty damaged now. I probably hurt the pilot, to be honest. And uh, look at him, he's trying to climb away from me. As if I'm just going to allow that. And he stalled out. He's got to come back down here. I don't think his engine can actually take a climb. Oh. Well, there goes his engine, so... <laughs> This is kind of interesting, man. Um, the P-47 might need a little bit of a rework for uh, how it displays damage from a 30 mil round. I mean, technically the Germans were firing 30 mil, no? Alright, lots of good rounds there, yet the A-10, or sorry, the P-47 remains intact. This is strange. This is strange. The A-10 should definitely melt a P-47. Give him a little more here. Should we just let him crash in peace? Is he still trying to fight me? I can't... I can't tell. Oh. Oh, I think his guns are dead also. Otherwise, he definitely would have shot there. He Pull is... Up. Pull up. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. He is definitely still trying to dogfight me. Should I just destroy him? I don't know, I kind of feel bad. Oh, I think he's just gonna... Pull up, pull up. Yeah, have a nice day, buddy. Oof. 
All right. Well, there you go. That's the Thunderbolt fight.